guys, it's May 1st and welcome to Sub Trending. This week on the show we have Taylor, Thomas, and Emily. And I'm Jessica. And so today, because it is, we're, we're recording on Saturday, so because it is tabletop day, we're adding a little different aspect to our show. And I know that you guys are probably like, whoa, you just added that lightning round like two weeks ago, but this is just a one-time thing, so... What we're going to be doing today is we're going to be using Cards Against Humanity cards for each topic and we have to use whatever is on our card in our discussion about the topic. So uh, it'll be Just a little like challenging. Just slip it in there. We exactly. have edited out the deck to remove re the really inappropriate ones. <laughs> yes, so, we have. You know, don't, don't worry too much about that. So there won't be any squealing hogs. However, if you feel super uncomfortable with a card that you have, you may exchange it. Yes. But don't be like picky about it. Right. Yeah. Don't be like, oh, I just don't like this one. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so uh, are you guys ready to begin? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, can we look? Okay. Yes, we can look now. So the first thing that we're going to talk about is Nintendo news. So Nintendo came out with a whole bunch of news a couple days ago. Um, the NX is coming out. That's going to happen. Legend of Zelda, which was originally scheduled for 2016, is now pushed back to 2017. Um, oh, and NX also, I should mention, has a March 2017 release date. And they're saying that the new Zelda game is going to be released on the NX. It's going to be back on the Wii U too, but it's kind of frustrating, I feel like, for Wii U owners. So, what are your guys' thoughts? I still just feel like it's too soon. Like, I just... I guess what the Wii U came out in twenty. I think two thousand and yeah. Twenty thirteen or twenty twelve. Twenty twelve. So I guess it has been a while. Um, it's just you know I just think back to then and in my my mind I just had like Morgan Freeman's voice just being like that's <laughs> not that long ago you know. <laughs> yeah. And we're like that's not that long ago. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Is that your British Morgan Freeman? I know. I can't. I'm <laughs> sorry. Morgan Freeman. Okay. I shouldn't have even tried. It was a stretch. It was a stretch. I should. I'll work on it. And next time, I'll try better. <laughs> I mean, I just feel like okay, as a Wii U owner, yeah, a Wii U owner, I bought the system because I love the Legend of Zelda, and I anticipated there being an original Legend of Zelda title for the system, and like. I don't want to say that I wasted my money buying a Wii U because there are lots of other fun games. Like I like having, I like being able to play party games. I like having Mario Kart. I like having Super Smash Brothers. You know, it's it's fun. But I feel like really the only thing they could have done to screw me over more is if they show up at my house with chainsaws for hands. So I'm a little <laughs> upset about that, but I think I'll get through it. No, that's true. You guys just got a Wii U. Yeah. Yes. No, it's it's kind of like it's like um. <laughs> Shoot! <laughs> I'll take it. I'll take it. Hang out. Comment. Um, I don't know much about like Nintendo's or Wii's yeah, I mean, really. Yeah. Like I've not. I mean, I played like Wii Sports or whatever. I've with... played Pikmin. That's the extent of what I've done with Wii U. But um, <laughs> I all I know is I like playing video games while lying in my Tempur-Pedic Swedish sleep system. <laughs> oh my gosh, Emily, <laughs> get out of here. There's nothing like it. Yeah, I just feel like you know. Having this whole announcement with the Legend of Zelda, it's like it's like laying an egg and being really excited for the egg to hatch, and then the <laughs> egg does not hatch on time, and maybe it goes rotten. That by is the time. exactly <laughs> what it's like, Taylor. I know that's your card, but that's actually a really good. Uh, I feel like it's a good analogy. The Legend of Zelda is a rotten video. egg right now. <laughs> We're all really proud of you. Like I feel like the Wii U just really never got the chance to live up to its potential. Um, I feel like it's kind of got a lot going for it, you know? They've got Nintendo has so many great IPs, and I just feel like they're moving on without really... Mm -hmm. Today I had them. a client who was like, I have a Wii, and she's kind of older. <laughs> I have a Wii, and it broke, and I don't know where to get a new one. Where do I go? <laughs> <laughs> you go and then the I had to explain that it's the Wii U now, and it's like a totally different... And she was like, what? Um, old people do love Wii's though. My they do. My grandma plays Wii bowling all the time and she loves it. You know so what? Cool. Like, being from a family of, I'm the oldest of four siblings, and like, Nintendo is honestly our jam. Like, that's that's why I love it so much is because like, my memories it's fun start for the with, whole like, family. It is fun for the whole family. Like, 007 Goldeneye when we were kids and Banjo-Kazooie and Diddy Kong Racing, like, and then, you know, GameCube with Super Monkey Ball and Luigi's Mansion, and then Wii with all these other great titles. Like, I like Nintendo. I will 
Oh, absolutely, yeah. Yeah, it's a great... I think that you can't really be a gamer and not have some appreciation for what they did for gaming. Yeah, I'm not I kidding. I, I, just say, I just want to I, see them succeed. Like, I haven't really played Nintendo because I... Like, PSA for all of you guys, I wasn't a gamer at all until mm -hmm. I met Thomas. Like, I never played a video game once. I played Mario Kart and I sucked at it and I still do. <laughs> but... Like, I mean, I am like bio, a new isn't it? gamer. That you can't drive any in game vehicle? Yeah, I can't drive any vehicles in game. We might make that some sort of segment sometime because it is just. Oh my gosh, that would be hilarious. Just like, I feel like that would be great with like a montage. Like, just, you like, guys just would be right song. horrified watching me. Shut Up and Drive by Rihanna. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was <laughs> song anyway. I just think it'll be ridiculous. I was really stuff. appalled when it was in Wreck-It Ralph, but... <laughs> oh, Andrew says here in my car. Yes. <laughs> I feel like, safest of all. Did Jesus take the wheel? <laughs> <laughs> that would be I'm totally great. off on a tangent, but I'm happy about it. But getting back to Nintendo, Basically, though. sorry, go ahead. No, no, just... I mean, I don't really know what else to say, because, like, this is really the news. The news is just the NX is coming. Like, it's it's just a whole lot of stuff. It's a whole lot of promises, and we'll see if they deliver. Because like right now, it's just been it's like an egg. What's it's like an egg? egg. It's it's such a it good is like an egg. But what if like it just like blows you out of the water? Like what if you're just like I love this. I mean that's what I hope. See the thing is that's gonna frustrate me is like I just bought a Wii U. That was a um, I probably paid like three hundred for it or so. I don't remember. Um, and they're coming out with this new system, and I'm gonna get the new Zelda game, and the whole time I'm gonna be like, I wish I was playing this on the new system, because I bet it looks prettier. So, and yeah, and it's supposed to be stronger than the PlayStation 4. Like, What do you mean by stronger? Better resolution, like you know, better more. frame rates. <laughs> okay. But will the software, like, I think I I'll said this in another, I, I think it. we talked about this yeah. in another video, but like, will they have the software really take advantage of that? Like, I mean, we'll see. I hope so. Well, but. the thing is, though, is like, they say this, but like, Nintendo is a lot of talk, and they still haven't even said what the specs are. Like, we, we don't know. Right. Like, they're just saying well, things. Well, the gaming community. Oh, have the Andrew's... Like Andrew's like sports. a human fact checker. Like, he yeah, he's, he's, he's not even checking his phone. It won't be out at E3. No, it won't be at E3. They're not sure. It won't be that. at three. Okay, I was about to say I know that Andrew. That's coming up very but, soon. But like normally when I fact check, I like Google for like five minutes, and Andrew's like, I just know. I he's, know all he's of it. He's a human yeah. computer. Yeah. But Maybe I, he's a robot. He's your robot husband. Yes. <laughs> Robo husband that I'm not married to. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, yet. Yet. Ever. No. Um. What was the last thing? Oh, I was gonna say. Also, a bit of news that they made that impacts literally none of us, but I'm just going to say it for the people at home. Uh, they did release apps for Fire Emblem and Animal Crossing, mobile apps. This affects Dan, actually. Dan, you play Fire Emblem, so shout out for you, buddy. You can check all of your characters and see who you don't want to die in your next battle on your phone. If Emily knew what Animal Crossing was, like I would never see her again. So. <laughs> what is it? She'd get so deep in debt with Tom Nook. Yeah, You'd never see would. all those bells. Just I don't, don't know what any of this it. means, but it makes me excited. <laughs> <laughs> you like it says animal. I like animals. It it's is basically cute. you move into a village and you're the only human in a village full of animals. <laughs> and they're all really cute. Are there otters? Yes. Are I'm there sorry. puppies? Oh, yes. Absolutely. I'm in. And they talk to you like. That's how I talk to Thomas. Exactly. So you found your place, Emily. That is really actually <laughs> you found where. Your people. <laughs> yes. It's like the Hercules song is like going in our head right now. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to move on to the next topic, because we've been on this one for a little while. Alright, so Thomas hooked us up with our next card, so everybody uh, give a little look at that. I have no idea how I'm going to Man, I'm real mad, because this, this would have been really good on the last tangent. You you had had better than laying an egg? That was I mean, good. easier. Not necessarily mm -hmm. better. Okay. Ben is, like, questionable on appropriateness, but I'm going to roll with it. Just have confidence when you say it. Okay. <laughs> what are we going to talk about next? We are going to talk about... Captain America and X-Men, Marvel, well, yeah, both Marvel movies, one with Fox, one with Disney, um, and Didn't. their trailers, Disney, and their trailers, because they both are, I mean, it's May 1st, well, this is coming out May 1st, so I'm gonna say it's May 1st, um, they're both coming out this month, uh, Captain America in less than a week, X-Men towards the end of the month, but still really soon, and... I feel like watching the trailers, I already know what happens. I mean, I'm aggressively not seeing Captain America for sure. <laughs> yeah, aggressively not seeing. <laughs> yes, um, we're all gonna be like, we're gonna go see it. Taylor, you wanna come? You'll be like, no. no. 
Well, we'll be out of town. Yeah, we'll now. be out of town. But uh, I don't know how I feel about X Men. I think the only thing it has going for it, for me at least, is <laughs> that it has Sophie Turner in it, and I love her. And uh, yeah, Nightcrawler girl. is in it, and I like Nightcrawler. But yeah, there's just I, the trailers were were too much. I mean, I feel like I know everything and nothing about both of those yeah, movies, right. and it's not like a, I don't know. Like okay, you know on The Simpsons, um, there are like the Arnold Schwarzenegger kind of parody guy, and he's like an action hero mm -hmm. and stuff. Wolfgang, Wolf Castle, or something like that. Yeah, I know and who you're talking about. There's this thing where if you take all of the scenes that they show of his movies on The Simpsons and edit them together over the course of like twenty something since, um, seasons The Simpsons has, it actually makes one full length movie. And that's kind of how the Captain America Civil War trailers are. Like, I think if you take all the action scenes that they've done, you could probably have a really big portion of the movie just, like, there for you. It's, like, so easy to figure out what's going on. It's like actually taking candy from a baby. Like, oh! Oh! oh, oh nice. <laughs> I feel like, though, like, the amount of trailers has made me not want to watch them, which is messed up. You know what yeah. I mean? So I like exactly to have some them. mystery. And when there's, like... Oh, especially, like, Game of Thrones was kind of bad about it this year. Because, like, no matter what, I'm going to watch Game of Thrones trailers, but, like, I kind of wish I hadn't, because I would know less. Mm -hmm. They didn't reveal that much, though. Like, but still. Like, how cool would it have been if, <laughs> I like, walk in blind. we don't know even for sure if Spider-Man is going to be, be up, like, in Arya. Civil War, and he just shows up, and we're like, that's Spider-Man right that's there. That's what I wish like, would have happened. And, like, yeah. those last two things I was going to bring up is it's, like, Like, that would have been really tough for them to do they revealed... with the acquisitions, but, yeah, yeah still. <laughs> But they revealed um, Wolverine and X-Men and Spider-Man and Civil War. And, like, they could have kept those things quiet. They could have made it to where, like, everybody's like, oh, yeah, Wolverine and oh, yeah, Spider-Man. But instead, it's like, everybody knows they're going to make an appearance. And if anything, it's probably going to make it more disappointing because you're going to be, like, kind of expecting it. It's probably going to be for five seconds. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And like you I said, know? like, with Spider-Man, that would have been tough. Wolverine, he's in the studio. Like, he does movies with them all the time. Yeah. There's, like... 15 Wolverine movies at this point. Mm -hmm. Like, they could have kept him a secret, and they didn't, and that's just disappointing. Yeah. I feel like, in general, the one thing that they're lacking that the comics probably has is pictures of boobs. Yeah. I mean, it, it's Disney for Marvel's, uh, you know. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Family pictures friendly. of boobs. Family friendly, <laughs> Emily. I have to say, too, I think that with, like, just all of the... You know what? I'll, I'll raise you one. It's not just pictures of boobs they're missing. What they're really missing is puppies. Mm. They're missing puppies. For real. <laughs> Let's talk about I don't know. Did Iron Man they're missing have a puppy? I don't know. Puppies. I didn't see Iron Man. But really, puppies. like, if they did have puppies, my first thought would be, like, they're all gonna die. <laughs> no, they're not. They're dogs. Dogs don't die in shows. Dogs Are die you kidding all me? the time. Like, that's like the stereotype. Have you seen a movie? Ever? Have you ever seen a I movie? I think she was being sarcastic. Oh. Lady. Hey, Aww. you know what? Don't do that. That's salt in a very deep wound. <laughs> that was horrible. Anyway, um, Marvel movies. <laughs> but no, what I wanted to say, though, is I think that all of these, these trailers, they're just a push to get people to see the movie. And I think that really these companies are forgetting the true meaning of Christmas. And they're forgetting the true meaning of it's movies. It's the surprise. The true it's meaning the of surprise. Christmas. Is, the surprise. Like, and it's just being with people that you love and these characters are people that we love well, and the way that they're treating them is you know it's, it's not how they deserve to be treated i totally agree and we all know that the true meaning of christmas is pictures of boobs <laughs> and puppies and puppies dude if i ever got a puppy for christmas though game over like any holiday that's all i need. ever a celebration i just like automatically I'm stay with the of July puppy. Getting me a puppy if i like walked home at any point in my life and somebody gave me a puppy without even like caring about adult responsibilities i would probably cry and say okay like it's fine <laughs> so <laughs> it should be you all know how i feel about puppies i mean my mom just randomly got me a cat today so <laughs> that's you know. true that's pretty exciting man i am excited I can't wait to go home and proud cat see mom. her. Oh, uh, speaking of cats, this cat's getting really yeah, feisty she's, with Nick over feisty. there. Yeah, she's like gnawing on his arm. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and that wraps us up for the big topics. All right, guys, so next we're going to start our two-minute topics. So Thomas just dealt out the cards, so everybody feel free to take a look as I announce the next topic. Uh, we're going to be... I just saw my card. This is going to be interesting. We're going to be talking about... Uh, Taylor Swift, and I want to say this is a rumor, this is not confirmed, so do not think this is for sure happening, but uh, Taylor Swift might be playing Dazzler in the new X-Men movie, 
And the reason this is speculation is because Sophie Turner, um, you know our Sansa from Game of Thrones, she's going to be playing Jean Grey in X-Men, uh, she posted on her Instagram a couple months ago a photo of Taylor Swift on the set with a few other cast members. And on top of that, she released a photo yesterday, and it's of her holding a vinyl of Dazzler, and this because the new X Men movie set in like '83, I want to say. Um, so holding the vinyl, and the caption some something about you know like her hits pre 1989, or yeah, that's what it is, 1989, like the Taylor Swift CD. And so based on these two clues, some people are thinking that maybe Taylor Swift would be making a cameo. Jess, do you think? Do you think that the Dazzler album will have the Penny Whistle solo from My Heart Will Go On? <laughs> oh my gosh! That was a good use. I could tell you like waited. You're like, this is gonna be perfect. That was that's a good play on that one. You know, like, my biggest thing, and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm starting this timer, um, I feel like right now the universe is kind of like pooping back and forth forever with Taylor Swift. Like Taylor Swift is everywhere. She is the poop and she is back and forth forever. Everywhere. And everyone's in her squad, like, everywhere. So... With these kind of rumors, though, it's just like, people just latch on them so fast, it's what, it's like when you, like, take a sip of soup that is too hot. Like, yeah, maybe it is, maybe it isn't, we don't know. And I can tell are, you, I have experience with soup that is too hot, and it's so not fun. I, I have a burn on my she, hand. It's much less some. red now, but it happened about In the last month, ago. both of these Stab. two have had bad soup burns. We have! Hot. Sisters. Soup sisters. <laughs> dark soups. Soup snakes. Um, That's still one of my favorite things, is how Dark Souls is autocorrected to dark soups. soups. Um, anyway. Okay. Yes. So, uh, I think both of those things uh, are pretty clear that maybe she is. Like, you know, oh, if she's not, that's a, those are really stupid posts to make. Like, yeah. you know. Um, the only thing that I like more than Taylor Swift, which is a lot of things, but one of those things <laughs> is a zesty breakfast burrito. Ooh, yeah. They're which I really do like a zesty so, breakfast burrito. What about a zesty breakfast burrito playing Dazzler? I think that would be a much more inspired okay. casting <laughs> choice. <laughs> Can I look it? What instead, if not Taylor Swift? Literally anyone else. Lady Gaga. Ooh. Andrew says Katy Perry. I would say Katy Perry. <laughs> I would say Katy Perry for everything. I want Katy Perry to be Cyclops. Kesha. I want Katy Perry. Oh my gosh, pop star X Men. Uh, if there was like a new <gasps> rock star, oh! no, Madonna a, would be Professor X. I would want David Bowie to be like somewhere in there. He would be. That'd awesome. be cool. He'd be a cool dancer. Like, I'm aware what? of why he can't, but, mm. uh, but that's like a out. topic for another day. Keep that in mind, people. I can't read that. Nightcrawler. Night 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 that's pretty interesting. That would be that'd be pretty cool. And you're cut off. We're moving on to our next topic. Uh, so, um, yeah, Taylor Swift go ahead, might be. You introduce the topic, and I'll get these set up. Here. Sounds good. I'm gonna go ahead and pull up the topic because for some reason it disappeared. Uh, oh, uh, I didn't uh, see it. Okay. Dun, dun, dun. So, Whoa, we both did really that. Meow something. Yeah, meow something to pass some time. No, 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 no,
liked most about the Daisy Ridley idea is that she would have been following in the footsteps of Harrison Ford because Harrison Ford was doing a huge yeah, sci-fi franchise true. and, and also doing like a two writing exploring. Oh, she would have been doing the same yeah, thing. That was in my article, Thomas. I'm glad to know that you read it. It's GK. <laughs> I can't read it. GK films. <laughs> but that was cool though. That's a good idea. Um, I know that like Laura, like I know that Daisy Ridley is cool, but is she as cool as like women in yogurt commercials? I think so. Yes, probably. So. She's probably more cool. I'm gonna jump on this probably. really random train of crap that doesn't make sense and say, but is she cooler than a super soaker of cat pee? Probably. Most definitely. Most but most that should be her weapon. There we go. Oh oh series. But just mostly confusing for her enemies. Is she cooler than the rare and infrequent panda sex? Hmm. I mean, she no, doesn't because make panda sex pandas. results in panda baby. <laughs> <laughs> so Daisy true. Ridley is That's better true. than cat pee super soaker. Better than woman in yogurt commercial. But not better than panda sex. But, I, I don't know. I'm curious to see because um, the movie that um, Vikander has been in, Anna. What, what is it? What is it called? Ex Anna Machina. Karina. Ex Machina. Oh, she's an ex she's been in. She was in Anna. She Karina was. That's too. right. It was not a very like physical movie. She's never really been in so a physical movie. Yeah, I'm interested to see how she is in this. Like, it's gonna be a lot of effort she's gonna have to put in. I hope she has a lot of Axe body spray because she <laughs> might stink up the. I'm sure yeah. she's going to have a lot of it rubbed on her because she is cast alongside Matt Damon in the Jason Bourne movie coming out this oh, summer. Oh man, that's and that's gonna be what? Actual... Wait, Daisy Ridley? No, no. Uh, Alicia Vi yeah. Vikander. Oh. Vikander. 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 I'm excited for it. I'm just going to end with that. Okay, so, that Thomas, go ahead. <laughs> Emily, you want to sing us a new song? I can't think of one when you put me on the spot. So, oh, no, I put this on here. Okay, so... So we're going to... All right. What's the next one? The next one. Everybody look at your cards. Take them in. Okay. And we're going to talk about The Killing Joke released its first oh, no. trailer. Rated oh, R. No. Okay. Featuring Batman, the Joker, gagged and not really chained, gagged and put in a little cart, Gordon, and misogynistically put in the comic Barbara Gordon. So, who, uh, yeah. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to start that. <laughs> oh, so we were talking about this, like, I'm excited for this because it doesn't really glorify the Joker. Like, yes. A lot of people do that after, like, The Dark Knight and those kind of movies. And it's honestly, you know what like, I have for those people? You know what I have for them? I have passive-aggressive post-it notes for them. There you go. Dude, That's seriously, though. That is a good response. It is. Like, this is going to be a very disgusting Joker who, like, really, like, does damage to people. And, like, yes. hurts people, makes people do embarrassing things. Gordon's going to be, like... Basically, wearing underwear inside out to avoid doing laundry the whole time. Um, but worse. Going around in the roller coaster, so. Yeah, the carnies. <laughs> the carnies. It's like, mm. to be, because I could, like, go ahead and throw in my card. I'm not going to do that, though, because I actually do want to talk about this, because it's kind of, yes. like, a weird do thing. Do it, because, like, I have nothing to say, and my card's really weird. Okay. No, I just, I'm really nervous about this movie being made. Really? This, I am because like I know it's a classic, but at the same time there are a lot of things wrong with that. I'm book. just waiting to see what so parent like, doesn't realize it's super not appropriate. Yeah. I haven't animation. seen the trailer. Oh, yeah. Is it like a movie? It's movie? a cartoon. It's, it's a, a it's, it's oh, animated. Animation. Animation. I was like, the like, animation. Like, the animation is like the cartoon like, is really pretty much not that different from like the, the thing series. Is, no, it's like a scene for scene. Like honestly, it's scene for scene. Well, it no, no. I mean, like it looks. Yeah, it looks just like the comic. Like book. the no, the cartoon. Oh, the cartoon. I'm waiting when it's going to be some parent. It's like, oh hey, this is a Batman cartoon, and yeah. I'm gonna show it's little Johnny, and little Johnny's gonna be traumatized forever. It's like I'm nervous about a couple things because they have to take, unless they make it ambiguous in the movie too. But usually movies are not as ambiguous as books. Um, they have to take a stance on did Joker, and I'm sorry for saying this. I don't I hope nobody's upset by it, but it happened. Um, it's like did a Joker -year -old book. rape Barbara? Well, I was gonna say rape. Well, that's, okay. that's what I was saying. Did he rape Barbara? Did he not? Um, did Batman kill the Joker? Did he not? Um, and so there are a lot of like these big questions and I'm out of time, but I have a lot of thoughts on it and I'm just nervous about this movie being made. I didn't say anything, so I'm just going to say this. Who's ready for Domino's Oreo <laughs> dessert pizza? You know, it'd be you better really though, changed like, the mood there. Okay. it would be better if David Bowie would just fly in on a tiger made of lightning. All right. And now we are moving on to our next topic, everybody. So take a look at your cards. And the next thing that we're going to talk about is the Wheel of Time series, which is a 
very famous fantasy series, sprawling many, many a book. It's Nick, like 12 books? Yeah, so you're in the audience. How many books? 14. 14 books. Okay, 14. I'm, I'm sorry. And aren't they all like at least 600 pages? Many moons. Many moons. <laughs> Yeah, so it's a very big book series. Um, Robert Jordan is the author. Uh, Brandon Sanderson for the last couple because he died. Uh, oh, he died I forgot and about that. And it was Brandon Sanderson. That's true. Um, but yeah, so Branderson, I think... Branderson, you might say. Branderson. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's, it's a really big deal to people who like fantasy because he is a... He's up there. You know, he's one of the most popular fantasy series writers. So uh, let's begin. I'm just kind of excited about there being more big fantasy on TV as much as, like, I don't know, I feel like Game of Thrones, like, first it was Lord of the Rings kind of opened the way for that, and now Game of Thrones has opened the way for it to be, like, a TV thing, and I like fantasy, I would like to see it more on TV, so I'm kind of excited for that. I haven't read this the series, and frankly I'm intimidated to even start because they're so long. Um, I don't just know very do much it. about it aside from what my, my fiance Nick has told me because he's just the whole follow thing. your dreams. Yeah, but now I can watch it and maybe if it's good, then I can watch it and not, you know, be yeah. one of those scrubs that doesn't read. All I can say is I really hope they cast Hulk Hogan as Randolph Orr. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I, that would I well. will say I am totally one of those scrubs that like doesn't like to read the books first. And I've always been that way, like with Harry Potter and everything. Like mm -hmm. I like to see it first. I don't like series, so it's never an issue like, for me. I can read it and just get more from it. It's never. I'm never disappointed. Really, I feel is like how I feel about that. If you that. watch something and then read the book, it's easier to keep up with all the characters, and you kind of initially like them or dislike them more. I think so, but I think I just like the fact that I feel like if I read the books first, I would watch whatever, the movie show or whatever, and be like, oh, this sucks. This isn't oh, like so the basically original. turn into the average, uh, yeah. Yeah, and I don't want to be that person. Yes. I want to be User. happy about all of it. Boom. Yeah. DAE, Dorn sucks. I, I want to be happy about everything like the Boy Scouts of America are. Oh. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. I, I think, think oh, go ahead, go ahead, Thomas. I just like, I don't really know too much about it. Gotta be quick, that, though. Um, Gotta be quick. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, uh, teaching a robot to love. What? What? Teaching, teaching a robot, robot to love. love. Okay, all right. I and then this. to finish this up, um, I think that it's really interesting that as soon as Game of Thrones announced that they only have a limited time left, they said, hey, Wheel of Time is going to happen. Because I'm wondering, is it going to be the next Game of Thrones? Or is Game of Let's Thrones going so. to be farting and walking away? <laughs> I mean, I feel like this is what George R. R. Martin does on a daily basis. I have so many feelings so about Game of Thrones and I can't hold them in, but I'm going tomorrow. to. I know. Tomorrow, Iron Couch. It'll be out on Monday. Okay. Alright, and so we have two more topics. We're going to move on. Oh, yeah, we do have two more topics. Okay. okay. You can so count. I can so count. Well, we moved one of them to the last topic, so it kind of threw off my list. So, but it's all right. Figured it out. Right, so we're doing okay, cards ready? this one, right? We're doing cards okay. for this one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the last one we're not going to do cards. We'll get to that later. Right. Um, so, everybody look at your cards. Brace yourself. The next topic is the Flash director has left DC Warner Brothers, left working on the project. And the rumor is Aquaman's director might be doing the same. <sighs> is the DC Universe damned? Well, you see, the thing I, the problem I have with the DC Universe, the problem I have, they're just, they're, they're not very well versed in the art of seduction. They don't That's know how to true. catch my attention. That's true. Yeah. They just don't. Yeah, I mean, I feel like right now, it's like the DC Universe, I love DC. I'm a DC girl, but like. She really is. I really am. I really do love DC, but they're kind of like, they definitely are some sort of like IPA type beer, but they're really acting like PBR right now. Like, uh, you gotta, I know that you're appealing to like the hipster, you know, crowd, but let's, let's go back to your roots and I don't know, I'm it's just doing a stretch. Yeah, yeah it's it's just... people, people want to see iconic DC because that hasn't been done in an extended universe. Like, yeah. they don't want to see, you know, punk Joker, they don't want to see... I'm so over it. I'm, I'm, I am so over that, you know, representation. Yeah. Like. I don't care if you even go a little campy with it. Just give me the genuine characters. Like exactly, yeah. Like, um, it's just they're very out of touch. It's <laughs> like if the Amish like went to some like rave. Like that's what it's like right now. Yeah, that's where you went with that one. <laughs> that's where I'm, I'm the Amish. What was I gonna do with that? <laughs> I, that's true. I don't know. I you could have been like the Amish would direct a better movie without technology. All I know. 
That's pretty good. I'm just gonna make that better than I did. If you guys don't get this yet, like, if I wasn't marrying Thomas, I would be marrying Jason Momoa. Like, I love him. I've loved him since the first time I saw him on Game of Thrones. I love him so much. When I found out he was going to be Aquaman, Aquaman I saved the picture on my phone and I look at it frequently. If you notice he cut his hair a couple years ago, that's because I beat him in a fight for Emily. Frequently, <laughs> I look at his face. But she's never I mean, done. with Jason Momoa being cast as Aquaman, Aquaman went to the lamest superhero to the coolest superhero. Right! I mean, like, I'm the always the be like... and the hair and the dreads and the... <gasps> <laughs> yes! It's like, and this guy and you are cut leave, off. is like switching to Geico. And I don't know how that makes sense, but it does. Alright. Oh, we also wanted to mention too, because Andrew threw this up because he's excited. George Miller, um, Dawn of the Dead, and uh, most recently Mad Max, uh, might be doing Green Lantern's movie. So, and it's Green Lantern Core too, which would be really interesting. So, that's... Good news. Um, but other than that, yeah, eek, not looking good for DC. Nope. So we are going to go ahead. We're not going to do cards for this next one because this next one's a little bit more serious. Um, and I think that the reason why I put this topic on here is because we wanted to redeem uh, my hatred for Deadpool and Thomas's hatred for Ryan Reynolds a little bit. And we wanted to talk about something really sweet he did. Uh, he went to, there was a fan of his that was a 13 year old. Yes, I know it's very questionable that a 13 year old would really love Deadpool as much as he does. I don't even care. I mean, are you surprised? When I was 13, I would have done the same thing. But 13 year old, um, passing away from cancer, really sick, um, he, he wrote him a really touching letter, uh, you know, he, he put a few jokes in there about like, oh, and don't worry about this kid seeing this movie. Like, he had worse language than a British chef was like one of the things that he wrote. And it was just very sweet, very funny, very like characteristically Ryan Reynolds Deadpool, because I feel like... There's a little overlap on personality there. Yeah, I can see it. And mm -hmm. yeah, let's let's talk about it a little bit. Let's let's throw some good into this segment and yeah. not just not just trash all over everything. Yeah. The thing that I like respected most about it. I just say a lot because I really don't like him that Ryan Reynolds that much. <laughs> but um, <laughs> he really spoke to this kid as like an equal. Yes. Like, it yeah. wasn't like he was like, oh, this kid is dying. Yeah, it really, cancer, like, even though he posted so it on his Facebook yeah. and, like, everyone posts everything on their Facebook, mm -hmm. it really didn't feel like a publicity stunt. Mm -hmm. It was relatively it quiet felt, for it. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, we heard about it and it was news, but it wasn't, like, something that he was, like, you know? Yeah. And there was a photo, and I think that's what, like, made me really touched by this story, too, is there was a photo of him and the it was kid on the couch. Mm -hmm. yeah. And they were just on the couch, and the kid was wearing a Deadpool t shirt, and Ryan Arms had his arm wrapped around him, and he, like, clearly hadn't shaved. And, like not looking like super groomed up at all he was wearing like t-shirt and jeans too i think and like they were just hanging out watching the movie together and he I showed them that, yeah because like, he got like the early cut mm -hmm. he got like the early yeah. cut with all the extra that's stuff that's what i was gonna say like i loved that what they watched was like only what they had at the time like mm -hmm. it was like green screens were still in it at some points mm -hmm. and like it was like literally like what was made at the time yeah he was he was saying it. you could still see wires like mm -hmm. there were still wires on the screen that they hadn't edited out wow so I don't know. And I like that Ryan Reynolds posted, like, you know, like, updated. You know, like, we did this, and now this has happened, and I just want to honor him. It's yeah. nice. I mean, I like Ryan Reynolds. I like Ryan really Reynolds, good. too. I don't really understand why Thomas dislikes him so much. Ryan Reynolds and Matt Damon. He's got, a thing. He's got, a, got it out for them. And who's Wait, the other not one? Like no, Matt Damon. There was one we were talking about, I he think, and you, just, you had a had an issue with, and I can't remember who it was. Just like your rational and mad at it. <laughs> I mean, I, I have some of those, but... It's, and you mad at Orlando Bloom for dating Katy Perry? I don't really care. You should care, because I love Orlando Bloom. <laughs> and anyway. Anyway, we're, we are Jason wrapped up on time. Um... Oh, and that's good because oh, apparently Bruce is trying awesome. to unplug our lights on us. So I'm sure Bruce. this is really, really quality <laughs> looking right now. Um, but yeah, that's, that wraps us up for the night. We will be doing Iron Couch and that'll be coming out tomorrow. Yeah. Um, and we're really excited for that because like I said, we're filming on Saturday night right now. We're going to be watching the episode tomorrow. We get so jazzed up about Game of Thrones. We do. Like Game of Thrones is like... It's Super Bowl big. Sunday every Sunday, man. Yes, we were, we were it episode really is. One, which was a pretty good episode one. I we thought so. About. Yeah. Episode two, things are gonna start happening. Yeah. Oh, so man. we are so ready to see the action. You know, like we know what everybody's up to now. Now let's see where this is going. 
So we will talk to you then. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, check us out on Facebook, and check us out on the website. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye. So what I'm going to do is use Mon Mothma's uh, action card here, Temporary Alliance. Place this leader in any neutral system, then place units on the build queue using this system re system's resource icons and number.